Hello and welcome back to Caves of Code. Um, so we're gonna leave this for the time being. I don't have the heirlooms of Cud on me and I do want to go and find it. We also have some books, so I may as well make a trip to the stilt. I know, it's it's a, you know, sometimes we gotta do that. You know, sometimes we gotta, we gotta go out of our way on that. Can I mod? No, I, I, I've done this before. I wanted to like mod a recoiler to have jacked, but it doesn't actually do anything, right? Like I can mod this with jacked, but I think it only works if we're like holding it and then there's like no point. So let's just um, throw a chem cell in there and then go to Karuk. 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 Karuk is on fire. And we're gonna head over to the stilt. Um, uh, and we're gonna eat a meal. It's already a camp. Oh, God. Do we have a nylon body pack? I don't think we do. Oh, we do have a weird artifact, though. Stasis grenade mark two. If only it was a defoliant grenade mark two. I bet you thought I forgot. I bet you thought I forgot about that Betel quest. But I didn't. Hey, uh, cat. Me a favor and like sit down could you sit could you sit down hey cat Whoa. there we go i just you know you sometimes you gotta flip your cat over and uh and then sit their butt down so that they can you know be seated all right so what can we drop for the timing let's drop these woolly bounding boots might actually just throw them away, to be honest. Might just do that. Let's see if we have heirlooms of cuds sitting in this um, chest. Up two, I'll uh, we'll make a quick look. Page down. Heirlooms of cud, we've got it. First edition, you know? Very nice. Boop, 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 boop. I might have actually bought that. I seem to recall, like, having it and uh, going out of my way not to get rid of it. So that's kind of nice. Nice of me to actually do my due diligence for once. Um, we're going to have a quick look at our schematics drafters. Let's have a quick look at our Dromat Caravan. They're not very good. Oh, never mind. They have a metamorphic polygel. Let's go to... Actually, we don't need to go anywhere. We already have enough trade goods. We're going to buy that for sure. Maybe, maybe I should uh, clone this drum head. Might not be a terrible idea to, to clone them if they have the potential to sell metamorphic. Uh, what can we, well, we we're going to sell a bunch of uh, cells for this. Some drained ones, a low one, some used ones. We can sell some solar cells, but those are very good trade goods, so I'm going to keep those for the time being. We could sell Dreadroot Tubers. We have enough salves. We don't need any more salves. Friendship with salves is over. Um, wow, that thing. Frigid Sphere of Alipur is a thousand drams. Good God. Okay, let's sell this and... Um, God, we almost have too much. We're, we're selling too much already. Let's sell some copper nuggets and this stuff. Is there anything else I can get rid of? We could get rid of a water skin of oil. I don't know why I have a water skin of oil. I only need 18 drams. I should just like seal that water skin of oil. Oh, you know what? It was for a flamethrower. Remember that? Remember the flamethrower? I remember the flamethrower. Okay, we have our fourth metamorphic polygel. Uh, I'd kind of like to hold out for like one more cloning draught. Um, not sure when we're going to do that. Honestly, the best time to do that is when we have access to Eid Freehold. Personally, I think it's a little bit cheaty to go to Eid Freehold um, until basically we've beaten the tomb. Maybe that's a bit late. In the game, I understand that that's going to feel late for a lot of people. But that feels like canonically when you should go to Eid Freehold, to be honest. Oh, Leyline Puppeteers. 
can't remember what this does, but doesn't this uh, give us like te um, temporal fugue? I can't remember. I, I can't remember. There's a, another ley line that's like very similar, but this is a Tinker 3 item and I can't really make it and I don't know if I'll be able to anytime soon. I don't know. Uh, we should check out our Ickers as well. Our data, I should always go to this data salesman first. Wait, is it on this one? Yeah, it's on this screen. Uh, padded. I do like padded. That's 10% um, chance to prevent daze or stun effects. Eh, it's okay. I think it goes on our helmet and we're kind of spent on our helmet. Okay, well, our skim sellers have like nothing. We have some more sort of nothing here as well. Mash lag. We really could stand to have some more mash lag. We've been inspired for a while, by the way, and I haven't really been doing that. So, um, do we have anything to preserve? No, not really. We have 60 salves. <laughs> Just good lord. We're, uh, we only have two mash lag. I'd like to get some more. I wish we could buy that in bulk, honestly. Let's just like back out and go back in arrival location and then um, go check out our Iker salesman and also our apothecarist. You have not much. You don't have any of the good stuff. I was hoping for one more cloning draw. One more cloning draw and then I could finally start metamorphizing, metamorphic polygelling our, our stuff. And uh, we would be good to go. What do you have? Some congealed love. I don't think I need any more of that. Uh, cycle gland paste and mash lag I will buy though. Um, that's nice. That's something. Okay. Uh, we need to store our junk. I actually think it would be better to store it at Ezra. But honestly, truth be told, it would be better to store it at Eat Freehold. So I'm just going to like store it for now. We'll just dump it here. And then when the time comes, um, I will just pick up the whole chest. And uh, we'll we'll move it to Eat Freehold. But we're good for now. We don't need to do any more trading. That was a pretty good time. I, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with... Uh, how little time I spent trading there. Oh, we'll keep the scoped eigen rifle for now. Is there anything else in here? No. Do we still only have one cloning draught? Oh no, we have three cloning draught. I just need to um, consolidate. We're still kind of carrying more than I would like, but eh. we'll go back to Ezra. I should really let's um let me take a second here and just throw some solar cells into all of our uh recoilers and also mod all of our recoilers with slender replace cell with a solar cell mod with tinkering slender can i mod the actually can i mod the solar cell as well is that something i can do Remove cell. If I go to chem cell, I, I, this is, I've never tried something like this. Mod with tinkering. Well, first of all, we can give it high capacity. Um, we can also give it radio powered. I don't think it, that's kind of interesting. Let's give it radio high. Let's get like a, give a, a couple of these high capacity and radio powered. Um, high capacity, radio powered, high capacity, radio powered, high capacity, radio powered, high capacity, radio powered. If you're wondering why I'm doing all of them, it's because, um, that's how many solar cells or, uh, sorry, recoilers I, I usually end up with at the end of the game. So let's throw one in our grid gate recoiler and then mod this 
with Slender. And then Karuk, um, replace Cell with a high capacity radio powered solar cell. And then um, Mod, make it Slender. And then finally, Ezra, install with high capacity road okay that's pretty good I, I i don't uh i don't suspect that those will um need to be recharged basically ever if they are both solar and radio powered uh ra radio powered is kind of like a better version of solar i didn't know you could mod a solar cell with radio powered so that's actually really cool that actually kind of leads me to this to the, the the like i wonder could we make solar powered a mod That'd be a kind of a nice mod. Like, why not? Why not make solar powered a mod so that you can like slap that on, like say uh, my nav goggles. Like for instance, if I could put uh, solar powered on our nav uh, mirror shields, I think I would prefer to do something like that. I mean, jacked is better. Let's let's be real, it's better. But I kind of love the idea of like a really rudimentary mod that may allows your electronic devices to kind of like passively power. That's kind of neat. I like that. Um, speaking of which, why don't we, while we're at it, why don't we go ahead, um, we may as well put a solar cell. No, we don't need to. We don't, this thing doesn't actually need to have a cell in it. We, we, I was just wondering, like, wouldn't it be better to put one of these high capacity rotor radio powered solar cells in like i suppose we could put it in our point defense drone there is that cool um I'll equip that and i don't think that that's going to be enough to power it indefinitely but it's certainly better than what it had it'll it'll regenerate passively okay so what do we got we've got um Mechanimists, birds, makes sense. Pariahs, that also makes sense. Uh, where's our fourth delegate? Surely we have more than three. Where's our fourth? Are, are they like hiding here? Oh, there's, okay. No. Oh, re unshelled reptiles. Okay. So yeah, there's two uh, occupying the same space right now. So we have unshelled reptiles, pariahs, birds, and mechanimists. That's a pretty good spread. No barathermites this time, honestly. Surprising. Let's go to our heirlooms and um, have a look at this. Okay, birds would give us a rifle. Um, that's fine. Not a huge fan. And, uh, we have so much bird rep. I kind of don't want to give them more. We could honestly betray them and, uh, we would still be on good terms with birds. Like, it's absurd. It's absurd how much rep we have with birds. Um, next is pariahs. Pariahs would be, uh, yeah, I think it's pariahs. Pariahs would give us a pistol. That's even worse. Don't care for that at all. Mechanimus would give us a cudgel. Oh, God. We already, we're already holding a cudgel that we don't need to. Um, and then lastly is unshelled reptiles. A shield. Well, that I think the choice is clear here. We, uh, we, we make a deal with the sh with the, uh, for the shield. We make a deal for the shield. Uh, let's let's give um, unshelled reptiles the rep. Uh, oh, can we make a hated by the merchants guild, disliked by the uh, yeah pass? Did I already water bond with them? Actually, I didn't. I'm not going to. Are you ready to begin negotiations? Yes. Um, plus faction heirloom. So we would betray. I think we're gonna betray birds. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, and then we gain 200 reputation with unshelled reptiles and then we gain a shield which is very fitting because uh, we're going to be giving up our scaled shield so we're going to be giving up some reputation with them just a little bit um, so yeah let's choose a faction to betray we're going to choose birds I think that that's the, the play and we are going to make a deal with uh, 
Spare from obligation, unshelled reptiles. The pact is struck. The Barathermites may lease control of the spindle. The delegate for unshelled reptiles says, Live and drink, friend. We won't forget this. Your reputation with unshelled reptiles has increased. That's the most reputation with unshelled reptiles I've ever had, for sure. Delegate for unshelled reptiles gives you the something. Error mixing hex value two's ward. It was a, originally a robot's shield, uh, supposedly. Delegate for bird says, betrayer, may you choke on your own spittle. We won't forget this. But look at that. We, we only, we merely halved our reputation with birds. So though they may hate us for uh, betraying them, they still like us quite a bit. In fact, I think we're still loved by them. The quest has been completed and uh, we have earned ourselves a very interesting shield. It looks to me like a um, full right shield. Uh, only grant their AV when you successfully block. This item cannot break or crack, though it can still be destroyed. Your chance to block the shield is increased by 25%. Is that an effect that the, the shield has or... Is it, uh, is it just a skill that I have? It is an upgrade. It is a pretty massive upgrade. Well, actually, it's not really a massive upgrade. It's only 5 AV versus 4 AV. And it gives us 3, negative 3 DV versus... Oh, okay, it is a straight up upgrade. Um... But it also has the Pewtis Templar mark on it. Let's look at what our original shield says. Do Does it say the same thing about 25% chance? No, it doesn't. So I think this shield actually does grant us an extra 25% chance to block with shields. Um, and I think that's pretty large considering our general amount is... What is our chance to block with shield 50% chance to block one melee attack per round no our chance to block with the shield is improves to 75% does that not mean we have a 100% chance to block with shield now am I wrong about that is this like an amazing shield did I just get the like blocks every single attack shield now to be clear what that really means for us is that our AV, if, it, if that is correct, if the shield is a 100% blocks every single attack shield, what that means is that our AV has been permanently upgraded by 5. Because uh, all the shield blocking means is that we have a chance for extra AV, so if it's block, if it blocks every attack, that means our AV is effectively 5 extra. Um, which is really nice. <laughs> it's like fantastic. Uh, and it also grants it as a skill, right? It's a added extra effect. Your chance to block with shields is increased by 25%. So what this means is uh, if for some reason I wanted to stop wearing using this copper plated boon, uh, I could have another shield and then we would have effectively a 100% chance to block I think two separate attacks. I think it works like that. It's that's kind of how it works. Like your your the, the AV bonus does not stack, but your chance to block multiple attacks per turn is uh you know that's that's what that means. Shields are a little weird. Um, it's it's really uh, easy to get them wrong, and I probably still get them wrong. Um, so. What comes next is a uh, spoilery. We're going to be doing something at Cricket to put it lightly. I kind of want to increase our triple jointed so that we have a bit more agility. Let's throw a couple points on this. 19% chance that sprint and skills with agility pre prerequisites don't go on cooldown after use. Uh, actually, I don't know if I care about that. I know it's, it's going to take like two mutation points to increase our agility. Which is fine, oh, we'll do it. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to increase triple jointed again for a while. Because that's a pretty expensive purchase for one agility point. Um, 
what I would like to do is spend our extra attribute point on uh, willpower. I know intelligence. I would like to put it in intelligence and we will, I promise we will put more points in intelligence later. Um, but I, I kind of am feeling more willpower. I think that uh, I'd like to reduce our cooldowns a little bit. Um, okay, so then what I'm going to do for now is I'd like to make a couple of flashbangs. Because we're getting to, uh, we're getting to the, the very spoilery, a very, um, dangerous part of the quest line. Uh, one of my least favorite parts, I think it's fair to say, it's a lot of people's favorite, or least favorite parts of the storyline. But, um, that's not to say I, I don't want it to be a thing. Should I, I should make a visage. Don't we have a separate face slot? We don't. Oh, we do, and it's being taken up by something amazing. I, I would never get rid of that, honestly. Um, visage, we could put polarized on visage. It is painted back and forth between the glass loons of visor and wristlet, whereas the outer trim shines gold on F edition. On this model, it fades to gray. Could be kind of cool. It would be very expensive. Might think about that later. Uh, I guess... Oh, I really shouldn't have done that. I, time dilation grenade mark 3 is really expensive. Good lord. Maybe I should make some spring turret grenade mark 3. That'd be kind of nice. We'll make a couple of those. And, um... Hopefully that helps us a little bit. I do, I do eventually want to make a light rail. I feel like that, hmm. Light rail or Eigen rifle? What do you think? It is, I think it's slightly better than the Eigen rifle. Uh, all right, here we go. We go to Grit Gate. I have some, I have grenades. Let's go ahead and equip one of those grenades. Um, I think we'll start with spring turret grenades because I'm just going to lay those down basically when we get an idea of where the, the Templar are going to come from. Sorry, spoilers. The spindle is ours. That is sterling news, journey friend. I'll go inform Baratham straight away. Uh-oh. Whole compound rumbles around you. Walls creak, loose objects skid about, and dust is stirred up in iridescent clouds. What's up? What are you thinking, Otho? All right, grave thoughts. Let's go uh, talk to Erish Kagal. Uh, scan surroundings, Erish Kagal. Intruders detected. And we'll go and uh, talk to this. What can I do? I'll do my best to defend Gritgate. Grave thoughts, call to arms. Um. Oh, do we have new music for this? Is this new? This sounds like the Moonstare music. Which is a great song to put on this part of the game. I like that. Um, how should we do this? I kind of like throwing down some turrets. I also kind of like the force fields. Let's do some force fields. I can't, I, I oh God, hold on. Can I undo that? I, I can't, I can just barely not. I guess you can close the doors, can't you? I want to like funnel them in. I don't know if this is actually a good idea. Let's close the door. Actually, I'll close the door here 
and uh where's the where are they also coming in from is that it oh they're coming in from the northeast as well you don't have a lot of time here um let's go ahead and throw some spring turret grenades here just to keep them busy are you really attacking my little turrets freaking dude I guess my turrets are attacking them. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, let's close the door. Oh, God, I'm wasting so much time. Okay, close that door. Close that door. Close that door. Um, close. No, close this door. Yo, get out of the way. Um, let you guys through. Get out of the way, droid. And, uh, let's activate this. It's a good turret to activate, I think. Um, kind of want to activate these two. And I'm going to throw down another grenade here. Uh, there, okay, that, that's actually not bad. And I think that was my last grenade. So I'm going to switch to flashbangs now. Do I have time to make some more flashbangs? Let's make a couple more flashbangs. Okay. I think that's as good as we're gonna do. Uh, I'm not really good at like min-maxing this mission. I'm really bad at it. How come those force fields turned off? I'm not sure what the deal is there. I'm gonna wait a hundred turns. Um, can I? I can close that glass door but that doesn't really help i guess i can turn this on not sure if like maybe oh insufficient power i don't know if it's like waiting for something to happen oh there we go okay throw flashbangs I flashbanged myself. This is fine. More shaking. That's the second group uh, showing up. Let's just let uh, people take care of those guys. I'm going to head over to the other group. Oh, I should have eaten a meal. Can we make a campfire? Yes, we can. Cool. Um, let's just do this one. Luckily, we have a lot of move speed, so we can, um, you know, afford the time spent. Let's throw another flashbang here. Yeah, we're, we're, there's a good chance we're going to flashbang ourselves. That's just going to have to happen. And then we're just going to let loose into this crowd. Oh, I think I just shot one of the bears. Bear, you don't actually need to be here right now. Just FYI. Oh, there's a lot of bad stuff happening over here. Oh, there's the legendary pu um, Templar. Throw flashbang. Yeah. Okay, what's your deal? Hated by bears. <laughs> We're gonna get bear rep from this. Amazing. Um, sting him. Lunge. Oh, I guess we were in dueling stance. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, swipe as well. 
Um, didn't mean to do that. Swipe your weapon out of your hand. Wow. You had a crystal longsword. Really hoping that they didn't do too much damage over here while I wasn't looking. Um, pick this up real quick. Uh, oh, I'm already picking those up. Are we okay? Feel like that was the worst of all of them. Don't know if uh, there's any more. Have a quick look over here, not seeing anything. Deactivate some of those things because they can really uh, do as much harm as good, you know? Usually there's some stuff over here. But I'm not seeing anything. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Cool. I feel like we're all right. Like, I don't, yeah, we didn't lose too many uh, friends. Live and drink also. Give me time to assess their losses and consult with Breath and return soon. All right, let's uh, wait 700 turns. This takes a minute. I think we're okay. Um, we definitely, you know, uh, the Baratharite mites uh, definitely lost a little bit of tech. But, like, I don't know if anything, anyone was killed. I, I hope not. It's always kind of a bummer to me when we lose uh, some Barathra mites. Let us lament the deaths of our friend Shem one and oh the spare fusile. Oh god damn it. That's one of the techie ones too. Five chromelings perished, no books were burned, no bookshelves were destroyed, no crops were ruined, seven gadgets were shattered, and no pieces of furniture were destroyed. Such tremendous loss. I wonder if it, uh, more could have been done to prevent it. I don't know, that's pretty good, honestly. Like I, it sucks that we lost um we lost one of our of our, you know, Barathmite friends, but like it, it can always be so bad. It can be so much worse. So I'm cool with this, even though we lost the techie bear. Sucks. 10,000 XP. He wishes to speak to me. Thank you, Otho. All right, we talked to Barathrum. Hello, Barathrum. You are so old. Was said you wish to speak with me? I do. Your service to the guild has been laudable, disciple. You braved the vaporous depths of Bethesda Susa and decoded the signal. You secured the spindle grounds and handled the self-appointed Earl, and perhaps most materially, you defended our enclave from the Pewis Templar. Since you returned from Bethesda, you've no doubt wondered at the signal's contents. Verily, I hid them to shield you from the weight of the truth. Only Otho... Q girl and I bear that burden, but circumstances have changed. The river of time powers the gear train of our schemes and devices. It's been a while since I've read this, and I want to kind of re-familiarize myself with um, our motivation and how we approach the end of the game. Where does the sig signal come from, and what does it say? The signal is a beacon of welcoming, and it originates from the top of the spindle. And what is the spindle, truly? The beacon confirm my hypothesis. The spindle is an elevator, engineered by the eaters to convey freight to and from the vault of heaven. You see, nestling in the earliest aurora of our past, the eaters of earth were joined by a great coven of beings that span the firmament. But the eaters succumbed to some terrible temptation, and an injunction was placed on our world. Since then, the stars were silent to us, and our world was left to molder and decay. But something changed. The signal affirms that an entity roosts atop the spindle and invites us to join it. Dare I say, is the injunction at an end? It's too early to tell, but alas, there could be hope for our world. And what now? I intend to ascend the spindle and answer the call, disciple. My protege, Q Girl, has designed a climber for the ascent. We intended to construct it piecewise at the enclave and the site itself, but the engineering feat exceeds even our capacity. 
With time, I am, com I am confident we could accomplish it, but the Pewtis Templar rob us of our patience. We need to act now, and so, as loath as I am to admit it, we need Pax Clank. Pax Clank is an eccentric mushroom prodigy. All of their faults aside, they are a brilliant scientist and engineer. I have little doubt that they could build the climber faster than we could. Several years have passed since we were last in contact, but they owe us a debt, and we must now collect. No one knows Pax Clank's whereabouts, though contacts I made over the years I inquired to their location. The most I was able to garner were these enigmatic instructions. Seek the heart of the rainbow, eat the god's flesh, and follow the coral path. Must ask you to decipher this enigma. Find Pax Clank. Convince them to construct the climber. Remind Pax of the debt that they owe us. It strikes me as likely for this rainbow to refer to the rainbow wood, where Clanks can consort. So I suggest that you start there. All right. I await your return. All right, that'll be, uh, I think, the next episode, because I, I don't actually think that there's anything at the Rainbow Wood that would threaten us. Uh, the major threat are oozes, and we are friends to oozes, as I understand it. I don't think that the aggressive ones will hurt us. Let me see here. Aggressive ones won't attack you. They favor me. So I think it would be good to go and do Rainbow Wood. We may as well. Uh, and then after Rainbow Wood is Tomb of the Eaters, which I might do a little bit of grinding for uh, before we go there. We might uh, actually, I don't know, I might bite the bullet and uh, head to Eat Freehold. But uh, we'll assess um, some of the goods we earned from this episode and the attack by the Pewtis Templar. And um, maybe we can go and do a little bit of trading. Kind of doubt it, though. We got a, some lore. But yeah, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.